sports festivals are a lot different from that. Yeah, this is like, I just thought this when the episode uh, started, but like, it's the first episode in a bit that where time has passed, because the last few were all like right, all the same uh, time period, like one bud directly into the next. Yeah. I mean, it's not much time, but it wasn't like a picked up from a cliffhanger from the last episode or anything. Still a bit of time. Because you love him the most! Well, now I understand where the ship comes from. Okay. I'm not gonna comment on his coat just coming off. Okay. That That's just what he's like. <laughs> if there is so much as a hair out of place, the penalty will be death! That's a little extreme. Are they drinking sake? Probably. They're teenagers. They rule the world. True. Still, I would have thought Gamaguri would be a stickler for, uh... Yeah, oh, yeah he probably would. Maybe he's just... just he's drinking water. Maybe. <laughs> I like that. It's just him. Now for the moment you've been waiting for! I wonder if that music just plays whenever she's around. Like, can everyone else hear it? <laughs> I hope so. They'd probably so do like I. It, it's a good, good song. Okay. That, that's... I don't like that outfit. You look like a clown. Yeah, <laughs> she looks like a clown. <laughs> oh my god, was that a, um... Crap, that was a reference. GTR, or...? No, have fun storming the stadium. Oh. Uh, I didn't get it. Uh, uh, Princess Bride. Hmm. Because the line is, uh, have fun storming the castle. Cool. Cool. The stadium was more alliteration. Yeah. What is the meaning of this? The time for speeches is over! Oh. Okay, I was not expecting that. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Although, we'll see, wait, wait for the credits like we usually do. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. So, that was episode uh, 17, Tell Me Why. Was not expecting that ending, like at all. <laughs> and uh, that ending was... like I, I thought that that was the reason they didn't... Uh, the, they didn't change the opening and ending theme, even though like the second season had like started already. Yeah. Because like it has some things that would imply that I don't know some of that stuff happens. Yeah. Although it does still have a lot of imagery of Ryugo and Tatsuki fighting each other. There's also like there's sort of there's that one part where they're like walking alongside each other towards Ryugo. Yeah. She's kind of like the the big bad one now. Yeah. Although she was just stabbed. Yeah. Through, through her body. With the sword. Through her entire chest. Mm-hmm. Just like that that usually kills someone. Usually, yeah. Also quick head cannon. Mm-hmm. Or theory or something. Slash question. Is Ragio's hair infused with life fiber and that's why it glows? We were talking about this before. Like I if the show itself gives an answer to that, I don't remember. Like, I think, probably. Okay. Because, yeah, I just, like, in this episode, noticed all those spools of glowing thread and just... Mm -hmm. Seems a little on the nose to not be. Yeah, like, it, it is what makes the most sense. Yeah. For her to have hair... Life, life hair... Hair fibers. Yes, it does. Uh, yeah, but, um, so, so how do you feel about Sasuke now? Um, mostly confusion. Makes sense. Like, yeah, we, we get, you know, more for motivation and stuff comes in, you know, later. Yeah. Next episode stuff. But, like, has she been completely putting on an act? Is she still, like, I, what? I would have expected there to be... I don't understand. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're, we're gonna get answers. Yeah, soon. yeah. 
I'm curious, like, uh, makes me wonder, uh, did the whole Elite Four know about the plan too? They probably did, because they they were shown that, like their their shadowy silhouettes behind Sasuke when she was giving the speech there at the end. Yeah. Um, and but then I wonder, like, how did she tell them? Because they're probably being monitored like a lot of the time. But yeah. Then, I don't know. It's. I mean, I think she spent all she spent years like gaining enough trust from Rogio to True. give her free reign, sort of. True. But. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, that like the, the people who work directly under her did know about this, but like I wonder how long they've known. Yeah. I, I mean, it's in Satsuki's case, it was a plan that she's been she's had for a long time. But, yeah. Like, but for them, I I don't know. Okay, another question. Mm -hmm. What happened to um Satsuki's dad? Um. That's, uh... Spoilers? Uh, N.A. Okay. So we just don't know. I'm going to assume that Ragio ate him. Interesting head cannon? Just like, like a praying mantis. <laughs> or some species of spider. Yeah, I could, could see her doing that. <laughs> Clown mantis? Yeah, yeah. Hmm, that's... Hmm. A good idea for like a, I don't know, a Pokemon <laughs> or a video game boss. Yeah. Oh my God. Your actual wife. That what? Um, turns into a praying mantis. Oh, knew we hardly. Oh. Hmm. You love her very much, and then she tries to eat you. Well, that, that would have been a that would have been a long con pulled just on me, because I don't know anyone else who feels the same way about Nui that I do. You're supposed to, like, not like her. <laughs> okay, but, like, actual video game plot idea with that. It's a dating sim up until you get the girl, and then it turns into, um... Y you have to fight her because she's a final boss form who is trying to eat you. Hmm. What would it be a would it be a completely out of the blue like uh, switching gameplay styles or would there be yes. segments where you fight stuff before? It would be completely out of the blue. Hmm. I mean, it would be like Honey Pop up until all of a sudden you have to like fight shit. I don't know what type of fighting it would be. Like it could turn into. Um, Crap, what's that game everyone likes with the flower? Undertale? Yes. It could be like Undertale style, or it could be like straight up fighting game style, or like regular game style like Legend of Zelda. But however it was made, it would just be complete 180 shift. Uh, st video games that have twists like that, it would be... You, they wouldn't be able to hide it for very long, which is kind of disappointing about, about j j just the this, this state of news and stuff Yeah. in, in the modern world. But it would still that, be like, cool. Would just, there would be a couple of... So, so, someone, someone would beat the game in a day and then tell everyone about it. But it's a good idea and concept. Yeah, but if they were polite, they would hide it under a spoilers tag. Yeah. And there could still be, like one or two good like let's plays of it where yeah the let's players be... purposefully avoid news on it so that they can be have genuine reactions by the way you never uh you never kept playing undertale did you no i got stuck at the 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 spider lady Muffet. yeah yeah she's i remember hard. You were telling me about i already ate that. my donut yeah, to, to be honest, I, I don't know how to beat her without using the, the, the spider. Yeah. Dynamic. Like, like it's a mechanic of the of that battle where you can give her money, but like, there's, I, I've seen like let's put to the word they they give her like all of their money and still, they, they don't win. Mm -hmm. So I honestly don't know how to beat them. Yeah. Her. So I got stuck on her and I 
don't have a reason to want to save her because she doesn't have that big a part in the story. You know, like, when it was um, Undyne, um, I was like, well, I've seen all this stuff about Undyne, like, she's really sweet and cool, and okay, I want to save her. But Muffet, I'm just like, it would be so much easier to kill you. But also, it's that far in the game that I'm level zero and she's too strong, so I can't mercy her and I can't kill her. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I, I wish you'd keep playing, because the rest of the game is still very good. Well, I did watch um, a Let's Play of it. I watched um, oh, Steam you did? Train. Okay. So you know, like, yeah. so you know, oh yeah, that's the first it's the first way I experienced it. Yeah. Like, I watched that before I played it. Yeah. Oh. I did play it recently. Yeah. So I actually have, like, yeah. Nice. It's good. Um, so, so about Kill a Kill, though. Yeah, back to Kill a Kill. I don't know. I don't know if I have much more to say about this episode in particular. Like, plot stuff happened. I was, yeah. uh, there was lots of, was lots of good, uh, you know, the twist, of yeah. course. Um, the Makanchoke family is... Is there? Yep. They, oh yeah, they they, they 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 stood up to Gamagori in the same way that Mako did in an earlier episode, yeah. like in the same place. Yeah, and then they got food. That wasn't nice. Mm -hmm. and, and apparently, Gamagori has some respect for their lifestyle. R even the dog introduces himself. Yeah. And Ryuko is having conflicting feelings about what to do because mm -hmm. she's not necessarily well. She's not prepared to fight a war against an alien race like for one thing yeah and then she really wasn't prepared to, like she, she didn't expect to see what she saw when she yeah got there. she was kind of expecting to fight both satsuki and ragio mm -hmm. i was just confused mm -hmm. and she's gonna find out what she has to do in the next episode i think which we should watch yeah mm -hmm.